Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> oh my god. The drama. The drama has entered the room. Yeah, so th this is sort of where, where I... This is kind of like my learning time. You know, because I'm not very like... I don't know much about theatre, so I don't know about the moving my mind. I don't know about <gasps> stuff. So, this is from Miss Saigon. Is it Rochelle? Yeah. Rochelle and Go. Um, so yeah, th this is sort of where I, I, I learn. Listen, this is one of the most heartbreaking songs in the whole musical. This is like... Uh, Fantastic, and and the fact that we saw, you know, her aud audition to <laughs> to do uh, Miss Saigon, kind of like just shifted my whole perspective. Yeah, I was really surprised, and how like how much how, she many, was like, how many comments and, and how many messages we got sent about that. Yeah, I don't because it's very intriguing. I'm really... Oh, I I find that so like it is sparks so many personal memories for me, you know. Um, but is is uh is the fact that she was so young. She was 16 she was or so, 17. Yeah, between 15 to 17, apparently. That was, and, you know, there there was so much depth uh, and understanding of the song. And, and that was a callback. I, I saw a lot of... Uh, uh, information debates, about it, yeah, yeah, No, yeah. debates in the comments about that. It was a callback. Oh, I could totally tell it was a callback. The the atmosphere is, is so different from an... First, first uh, uh, call audition. No, absolutely. Yeah. I so, mean, just so from that, different. yeah. But I don't know. Maybe. But you're you're never listen. You you're putting your foot through the door on a callback. You're never of really course. getting the job. No, no. Unless you're she, Lea Salonga. She got it there. Then. <laughs> Let's watch this. <laughs> unless you do what she did. Oh my heart! I cannot. So what was this about? Oh, is it separate self-explanatory? Oh, bravo! One twist in the screen, though. Thank you. Who are these children? Th these are the actors. These are still images of the of the musical. Oh my God! Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> the queen herself. big like personas you know this place. bravo the vocal tonality of the both of them is so similar is literally yeah, that very... so very similar the, their natural vocal tonalities that like the brightness of their voices are very very close by so it is really nice nicely done i think this is a uh, i think this is like a revival show i think because i i think revival do they yeah, because I Someone's think Leia, I, I think Leia was the first to sing this song. And then you get, I think Rachel is like is the... Counterpart. No, no, no. It's the same Second character, generation. but like a few generations later. So a few. Or, or two, three. Because the, the shows rotate so much. Oh, because it's always, they always do it for like a year only, like a two years. Well, it depends. It depends on the contract and the artist. And, like for and example, that show, with. The Wicked, or The Witch, whatever it is. Wicked, yeah. That fucking show's gone on for like 12 years. Yeah. And the same the, cost. No, not the same. Not at all. Not even close to the same Look, cost. I saw a picture of the, of the lady who does the thing. Right? <laughs> Which it? one? The green one or the pretty one? The green one. The green. The, uh, Alphabet. Right? And... Every time I go to London, she's always still there. Well, well, listen. It's the been like six years. <laughs> the posters they remain, but the the oh. the actresses constantly rotate, and they've got pretty good, um, you know, 
um, swingers oh, and right, stuff. Right. So swings, swings. I didn't mean swingers. Swingers. <laughs> That's a swing. different type of show. You're talking about <laughs> strip club. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I am so embarrassed. Um, so yeah, but in I think I think that's what he was. Am I right? I think it's Leia was. I think Leia was uh, like first generation of Miss Saigon. Power of Google. Yeah. Can I, you want to just double check that? Yes, please. Okay, so what should I write? Who was the first Miss Saigon? Miss Saigon. Saigon. Uh huh. Uh, Leia Salonga. Yeah. In. in 18, 1991? Yep. In she was Broadway. playing him. And then... And I think Rachel. Rachel is the... Is the... Is the um, show and go. Uh, uh, Miss Saigon. She did it in... She did it in... Uh, 2016? Yeah. All so, right, so she's very recent. So when was this? So I think this was like a year ago. Two oh, 2018. Years ago. All right, yeah. I see. Oh, so very this interesting. So like, this is like a revival show, and you, I, I could totally feel it. But um, it, the um, the vocal tonalities, like the original to like the later on, is like spot on. Yeah. I feel like Leia also <laughs> also put like the bar, set the bar pretty high. <laughs> She hasn't <laughs> aged. No, no, no. She looks fantastic. Jeans, man. Go she on. looks fantastic. <laughs> Crazy. The movie plays and plays. I'll find my true romance. Takes me to a place <laughs> I've said this in the podcast a thousand times and I've said if you know me you know me I'm not into theater I'm really not you know <gasps> but there's moments like theater has this capability of enc- of, of, of capturing moments because they, they, they're they're so exposed they're trying to really be emotional what do you say a vessel of emotions mm-hmm. right when they're acting so much and they're really trying to act their ass off like this is the maximum amount of acting you could ever get in a you could ever get in a person that's right so and they really become the emotion and even the way they sing and you can tell in theater that magical moment or something insane has happened when the crowd silent and then they make noise because that's not common in theater like it's not like a like it's, it's not like a concert where people are constantly wow in theater there's like it's like an etiquette about yes. it yes so you you're quiet right but you don't clap in certain... You only clap at the end of, of, of an act or something like that. It's very <laughs> peculiar. So there's like rules and stuff, but they're untold rules, I guess. But there, remember, this is also... Well, people broke it. Because this is also not a... This is not the, the actual show. This is a revival of the show or a, like a compilation of the best songs. Or a, like we call it singing through songs. So you get acting through songs. So you get the to act as the character. Sing like the character. You don't have to but do the lines. It, it, exactly. It's like a, a listening to the album live. Oh, basically. that's good. Um, I'll be down. To, see, I, I'm, that thing, I'll be good. Uh, you should take me to one of those. You know what's crazy about this this movie, uh, this uh, show, though? It's like once you understand the storyline and when when in, in the moment in the play when this song comes in, you are so emotionally already exhausted, right? right? You're emotionally exhausted with with uh, the whole play and and the raw and disgusting reality of of you know Vietnam in that moment, and you know the girls were being used by by all, all the men in 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 the in, in the town, you know, like 
um, everything was so raw and terrible at this point, right? And you hear the lyrics of the song, you know, I, when, when things, bad things happen, I, I play this movie in my mind. I go to this place where the kids still laugh all day. And, you know, you're so emotionally exhausted by the time the song comes in um, that you lose it. Even if, even if, even if you aren't an, an avid theater fan, uh, this is this is one of the sh- of those shows that will touch you. Will will make you weep like a baby. Right. It's such a fantastic. It's such a fanta- and and you think this well, is maybe the this peak. This is the wrong thing to watch. I don't want to cry on camera. And, and you think this I'm is the peak. I suppress my feelings. <laughs> and then you think this is like the peak of the of the of the whole show. And then, you know, you got the ending number and you're like, oh my God, kill me now. Might as well just die, you know? Cool. It's a fantastic show. <laughs> and this shit is fantastic. I will not cry. I will not think. I'll do my dance. I'll make them dream. See? And if they hurt me, I'll just close my eyes. Oh, damn. And see the most lean on the movie in my mind. Oh, so trippy because he's like the same voice. <laughs> oh my god! Oh damn! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, he's so good! Bloody oh, hell, is that the same person? of emotions i cannot i cannot help it it's just too much you know it, it just gets too much you you listen you see and you and you take notes and you know you learn the repertoire you learn the lines and you put your out your best performance but there's nothing like the originals you know there's nothing like the pinnacle the cream of the crop doing it live i i i you know, I feel like I missed out on not watching it with neither of them, you know, like mm. uh, like I didn't watch neither of them live and I, I feel like I totally missed out because 
if I if I wept like a baby, <laughs> I probably would have never come out of that theater. I crawled out. Yeah. <laughs> no emotions, all being a bubbly mess. Very bubbly entertaining, mess. and he's also a very, yeah, peculiar to say the least. How... Did you catch that diction? Yeah, they have that pin that that top notch diction that you always talk about. We were, we were actually hearing listening to this band, and one of the things that. Bali was like, wow, their diction is horrible. Like, their music is actually okay, but their diction is terrible. It's like, I have no understand. idea what they're saying. Yeah, and, and you know, and you were like, what the, f- whoa, what? It doesn't make any sense. But, yeah, so I, there is a huge benefit to, to paying attention or being conscious, aware of your diction. Yeah, obviously, of you don't want to theater. make it theater, though, because then music kind of feels a bit detached and disconnected, too, you know? But um, especially oh, yeah. if you're doing, like, pop stuff you want to have good diction so people understand what you're saying yeah but, but you know a good example of that Morissette she 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 has great diction and yeah, she also makes pop songs yeah, but yeah. her diction makes her sound theatrical when she does certain, uh, certain Some, covers and stuff yeah. yeah if you're really close up and you did it since up but then you know she's acted through and she has acting training I think I think theater training for a, uh, for a singer is one of those things that would help but you don't think... Yeah. But the extent to which it, it, it would help is not emphasized enough. Exactly. I, no, I think it's it's pinnacle. I think it's paramount for a singer. If you want if you want your child to be a, a good... Have a good, healthy life with their vocal career, oh, right. put them through uh, musical theater training. Definitely. I feel it's one of the most uh, well-rounded trainings for, for kids and like... Uh, young adults and yeah stuff. i mean it, it's plenty of evidence to show that it does help like exhibit a and then exhibit b i came out wonky i didn't do theater training <laughs> anyway so let us know your thoughts and uh what else would you watch next um it's sort of very entertaining to me and, and very like, it's, a, it's a huge learning experience to me as well i like more of this stuff though because it does have the acting stuff that I'm, I'm like picky about. they were totally acting through song though through the song i don't mind that i like musicals when they sing <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't like the musicals that either they always sing i'm about to drink some water and you're like oh my gosh just fucking drink it or i'm peeling a banana and you're like oh my god you fucking freak. <laughs> shut up <laughs> but yeah but when they actually sing oh man i love it. it makes me i do feel my eyes teary and stuff and then i press on my feelings now and turn it into anger Anyway, so that's all your thoughts about it and we will check out more. So healthy.